want to end the shame and disgrace of poverty housing in the whole world. That's our goal. You know, he really believed in the potential of every individual. What all of us remember who know him well is that he works harder than any of us. He's always moving forward in realization of some hope for a poverty-stricken family who doesn't have a decent house. I don't think it's an exaggeration to say that Millard Fuller has literally revolutionized the concept of philanthropy. You really felt that uh... He would, in his heart, this is what he wanted to do. That's probably 86 when we dedicated our first house in Randolph. It was a major rehab. And uh, Millard Fuller came to speak. You know, he's just, you know, for a guy who was really charismatic and everything else, he was just a regular guy. Well, I, I think the, the key for me is that Habitat for Humanity's principles are the same today as they were uh, 30 years ago when I first met Millard. And that to me is very important because it is bedrock. The Bible is very clear on what is love. God is love. Uh, and then of course that raises the question, what is God? But uh, to me, love is um, the greatest force on earth. It is far greater than hatred or any other thing that you can think of. Love is what motivates people to, uh, to do amazing things.